My pitch. So this is a dark high fantasy game. The genre is survival horror and it's a classic fantasy setting. Though most of what you're gonna be dealing with are humans as far as friendlies, if you will. It's gonna be using the anima system instead of Dungeons and Dragons because I want the percentile and the more heavily role-playing focused stuff. Um, D&D happens to have a lot of murder hobos, so we're gonna avoid that. So it's gonna be a low magic setting. This is because the magic setting is a whole different stack on top of the base. And I don't wanna overwhelm new players and I don't want my experienced anima players to have an advantage over them because I want a fair playing field. So low magic, nobody's gonna be a caster. If you want to grow into magic, that is something we can do. Um, talk to me about it. But that aside, learning magic in anima is like playing the game on hard mode. It's hard mode for just the numbers. It's beautiful, but it's just too much to start with. Moving on, onto the setting stuff, the good stuff. The world is covered in darkness that comes with the night. It seeps into animals and monsters alike with its emboldening evil. Only the sun banishes the terribly transformed to normality. Bad at night, good during sun. Don't get caught out at night. Your characters don't have to start as strangers, though the game will involve traveling around, so don't plan on being in one town your entire character arc. It'll start in a small village. This village is named Plum. The people there are weary of strangers, as is usual in these dark times, and known for its winemakers. They are kindly to caravans that export goods, though comfortable lodging is not saved for travelers. So don't expect anything comfortable, even if you do work with a caravan. Um, if you're seeking comfort, you can go a week away to where the capital city sprawls. A note directly to the players, aside from the setting. Story is king. So, I'm open to expanding my world. I give creative freedom to my players usually, give or take. Um, it can't clash with anything already in the system or another person's background. So I'm open to expanding the world as long as the ideas fit the established narrative. Second point, if you write a backstory, you will be rewarded for your work. No promises, I'll get your details perfectly once in motion if it's more than a page and a half. Some people gave me 11 pages. I could not keep up. I lost several of their characters. 11 pages from five people is just too damn much. Be nice to your GM. Page and a half is perfect. Um, if you want to do like two or three pages, perfectly fine. Just don't be mad if your GM is human. It's too much. I have too much going on already as well as that. As long as you're forgiving, you can give them more writing. I will help build your character's stats um, all of your character sheets I'd like to have a hand in because I used to play with rules lawyers and people who broke the system normally. So I know how to break the system and I know how to manipulate the numbers so everybody's on an equal playing field, even if they're completely different characters. The dice that you're going to need are 2d10s. They're percentiles. Simply put, two dice with 10 sides each. Um, I can provide them if you ask. I will be collecting character sheets at the end of game. Food will either be traded responsibility weekly or one grub lord who designates minions. So food is going to be on the players to provide or coordinate. And as the storyteller has so much to plan and take care of and forget, if I have too many things on my plate, something will be forgotten. God forbid it's the food. I've forgotten dice so many times. I've forgotten character sheets before. It's a little bit much for me to also plan out the food, think of the food, bring the food, cook the food, and then run game. Um, I'd like to prep game when I first arrive at a location. Also, I plan to give a benefit to the Grub Lord, the person who brings the food each game. Um, if it's rotating, then that's my preference, because putting it all on one person is rude to that one person. I actually cover this later, so... Fuck it, get out of the pitch. Um, so.